Hey everyone, this is the Google Pixel 7 Pro and today we're going to be doing a portrait photo shoot with a professional model to test out the camera capabilities of this phone. A little bit later on we're also going to be testing out night sight by doing some low light photography, so let's go! I'm starting off using the main camera of the 7 Pro which is a 50 megapixel quad bear wide camera. It has an aperture of f1.85 and is the full frame equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters. Throughout this entire photo shoot and video, I'm shooting with both RAW and JPEG at the same time. This is a feature I really love about Pixel phones as I like having the option between both photo files. Oh, while the wind stopped, I'll get like a full body shot here as well. Oh, the pretend walking looks so good. <laughs> I will share with you the unedited 100% crops of the photos we're taking so you can see all the details plus my edited version as well. Yes, that is beautiful. As usual with Pixel, the wide camera is beautiful. I love how vibrant the colors look and the images have plenty of detail without being over sharpened or over processed in my opinion. The raw files are so easy to work with as well, there is a lot of information in these files. So in a location like this where we have very patchy sunlight with lots of bright spots and dark areas, you can easily balance out the photo with editing. And I also like the processing the Pixel has done to these harsh light photos in particular. I think the tones look really balanced and the colors look great. We've got a really cool location here to shoot with the ultra wide lens, so that's what we're gonna do next. I really like that we've got these kind of stone fences and then this big tree in the background as well. So if you wanna take a couple of steps out, maybe if you stand just out here. So this is like super, super wide. So yeah, if you swing your arms around, it's really cool. It's perfect. The ultra wide camera is 12 megapixels, has an aperture of f2.2 and is the full frame equivalent focal length of 13 millimeters. Unlike the Pixel 6 Pro, the ultra wide camera now has autofocus, which I can see makes a difference. Ooh, that's nice. Don't lean up against that wall. Wait, if it's not wet. Oh, no, no, it's, it's fine. Good. <laughs> yeah, that looks so cool. So I'm cropping just above your knees for this one. In my 6 Pro ultra wide photos, I noticed a lot of the shots were more focused on the background rather than the subject. Now, on the 7 Pro, I can see more ultra-wide photos with focus on the subject instead, especially in these shots where she's leaning against the wall. And I'll get a few more. Next up, we're going to be using 2x zoom, which makes use of cropping the main camera to get that 2x zoom. And we've got this cool location here with the greenery poking out from the fence, which I think will look really nice for this. So I'm going to crop like just about here for these ones. Perfect. That looks so pretty there. The full frame equivalent of 2x is 48 millimeters. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality of these shots. And then if you wanted to come up really close to this bush, I want to get like a close up photo of you where you can see like a little bit of that green. Oh, that looks nice with your chin up like that, yeah. Even though it's not an optical two times lens, we still have a lot of sharpness, detail and vibrant colors. I especially love the image quality of the close up portrait I took here of Amel. I'll get a full body shot here as well if you wanted to just step back into that little area, yeah. In this location here, we're going to be testing out the 5 times optical telephoto lens. I'm really excited because the pop of colour I think is going to look so nice for some portraits, but we'll take a variety of shots as well. I wonder if you wanted to maybe stand just here, because then we have like that bunch next to you. <gasps> yes, that's so cool. The 7 Pro has a 48 megapixel quad bear telephoto camera. It has an aperture of f3.5 and is the full frame equivalent of 117 millimeters. This is a longer focal length than the 6 Pro last year, which was the full frame equivalent of 104 millimeters. And then I want to see if we shoot this way. Oh, there's like a bit more light on your face here. Oh, actually, that's really cool. I've got like all of these in the frame. 
When I'm doing these camera reviews on Pixel, including today's photo shoot, I am screen recording the phone plus shooting in RAW and JPEG at the same time, so it's very processor heavy. I'm really happy to see that switching between all the lenses, especially wired to telephoto, is almost instant. So even with how heavily I'm using the phone during a review like this, it's still performing really, really well. I think the telephoto images from the 6 Pro are slightly higher quality to be honest. I think the 7 Pro telephoto lens is still beautiful and you can capture impressive photos for a phone camera. However, I think the smaller sensor size did slightly affect the image quality in terms of detail when you compare both telephoto lenses. If you want to see a 6 Pro vs 7 Pro photography video, let me know in the comments. So I think this location will be perfect for trying out portrait mode as well because we've got really cool colors in the background. So we're gonna start off with the one times portrait mode and see what that looks like here. The outline of the subject for the depth of field look is very clean in portrait mode, especially when I'm further away from ammo, which makes the effect look more natural. And then we'll try two times portrait zoom, so I have to go a bit further back. In the close-up photos, you can notice the outline a little more, but this is because I am looking at these images zoomed in on my 4K monitor. They look even better on a phone display. So the last thing I wanna do with photo is take a photo at each of the zooms we have and put them all up side by side. So this is with us standing in the same spot. So I'm gonna start on the ultra wide lens, then I'm gonna to go to the wide lens, then we're gonna to go to two times zoom, and finally, five times. So we're gonna be testing out video as well. I'm gonna start off with the wide camera and I'm gonna be filming in 4K 60p. So I'll show you the footage both in 60p and I'll slow down some sections to 50% so we can see what it looks like in slow room. I wanna start off by showing you these close-up video shots I captured because wow, 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 look how beautiful this looks. The clarity, detail, and colors all look amazing in these video shots. As I move further away from Amel, we do start to lose a little bit of clarity in the portrait area of the video, but I think overall video quality looks great. Let me know what you think in the comments. I am also constantly moving and walking around while capturing these videos and image stabilization is doing an amazing job to keep the footage looking smooth. The ultra wide camera for video looks really cool as well. I think the processing of video in this area looks a bit low contrast. This could be because it's a bit of a darker shadowy spot. So the phone was trying to brighten the overall image. So I will share with you some footage straight out of the 7 Pro and some footage where I edited the tones and colors. Just like photo, I am pretty impressed with the video quality in two times zoom since it's digital zoom. It's not as clear as the main camera, but you can see enough detail that it's easily usable. Again, I think it looks the best when capturing very close up footage. That's when you can see the most detail. Even though we are really zoomed in, image stabilization is working well and it's super easy to capture stable footage. Next up, we have 4K 60p video with the five times optical telephoto camera. You can see the quality and sharpness looks great here, but I was having a hard time keeping the camera steady. Using this camera for video would be much better for a stationary subject and with the phone on a tripod or leaning up against something to keep it looking as steady as possible. I also have some examples for you that we captured with slow motion. We have quarter speed and 1 8 speed and the maximum resolution we have available for slow motion is 1080p. We're gonna check out how night sight and low light photography and video works in a second, but first I wanna check out the selfie camera. So the Pixel 7 Pro has a 10.8 megapixel front camera, an aperture of f2.2 and fixed focus. So I'm gonna take a photo at one time zoom and 0.7 time zoom as well with both the standard camera and the portrait lens. With the front camera, we also have our white balance control and our dual exposure sliders as well, which is great to see. And if we head over here into motion, we can also do an action pan selfie as well, which I personally like what it looks like at 0.7 times zoom because you can see more of the background and thus more of the effect. 
This is what the selfie camera looks like in video mode and I'm super excited that we not only get to film in 4K 30p but also 4K 60p with the front camera. So it is quite windy right now, it's picking up quite a lot so I think now would be the perfect time to do a microphone test. So this is what the lav mic sounds like, this is what I've been using to record this whole video and now I'm going to switch over to the microphone of the Pixel 7 Pro and we'll see what that sounds like. So you can see my hair is moving, or it was, moving around a little bit. There we go, it's a bit breezy, you can hear it rustling in the trees. There is some like car noise in the distance as well and a little bit of birds. So we'll see what that picks up, if it's just my voice or if you can hear the background noise as well. So I also wanna do a walking test just to see how stable the footage looks. As usual, I'm walking on super unstable ground. It's very muddy and bumpy, so this is the ultimate stabilization test. <laughs> so it is time to check out night sight on the Pixel 7 Pro. So we're here in the Sydney Harbour and I've got the phone on a tripod. So last night Dan and I went out to dinner and I took some handheld night sight shots with the normal camera and with portrait mode of Dan and of the food. So here are those shots that we took there. So for these night sight shots, I've got the 7 Pro on a tripod so we can take some long exposures of the cityscape here at night. And I'm just gonna start off with the main wide camera. So I like that when you're doing a night sight photo and it's taking a long exposure, there's a circle in the middle of the frame and then a smaller circle, which is telling you where to keep your camera. So it shows you if you've moved too far away or not for the long exposure. I've taken it off the tripod here. So I'm gonna take a night sight shot of that. And you can see as I move it around, the little circle tells me to keep it more in the center of the frame. Right, I'm gonna take a two time zoom shot in the same spot as the one times. So I'm gonna get a ultra wide angle shot here and I've got the camera pointed quite upwards and I like that we've got the bushes here in the foreground for some framing. So I do have a tripod with me today for these night sight shots just so we get the best, most optimal results we can. But if you don't have a tripod, you can definitely do these shots handheld as well. I would recommend to put your arms or lean your body against something solid or you can just put your phone down on like a fence somewhere where it's not gonna be shaking around to get the best possible results with night sight. The last thing I absolutely want to try when it comes to night sight is using the five times telephoto lens. So I want to get a shot here of the opera house. I think it's going to look really, really cool. We've got some clouds in the background as well. So that might cause some nice motion in the shot and the water should also have a nice motion blur to it as well. Since it's so dark where I'm pointing it at the opera house at the moment, I've actually had the little astrophotography symbol pop up. So I am going to be taking an extreme long exposure with this. It says it's going to take about a minute and 45 seconds. Wow. That looks so pretty. I love that you have like that motion in the clouds and the water, like I was saying, but then the opera house is just like crystal clear on the back of the screen. So pretty. I'm also a little bit sad, but I think today might be the first pixel review video that I do without astrophotography because it has just been so cloudy in Sydney every single day. So I haven't had a chance to go out and do it. So that is all I have for today's review of the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I really hope you enjoyed that. Let me know which ones were your favorite shots down in the comments below. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.